Hey guys, we're at Stinger Trailer. We're doing a couple instructional videos for YouTube. We're getting a growing amount of requests for tie down videos for the Can-Am Spiders on the Stinger Trailer. So we're gonna go over that today. If you purchase a strap kit from us, it's gonna be in this black carrying bag. Inside of here, six pieces. One of the things that you're gonna get is a self-retracting Ericsson strap. There's gonna be two of these. It's got the keeper hook, so it can't pop off while you're towing. Pulls out, self-retracting with the red button. The other item is gonna be a soft strap. In case your tie down point is a little close to your painted surface, you can noose around the bar, pull it through and create a new tie down point, keeping your hardware a little bit further away from your paint. The last item, there's gonna be two of these shock straps, again with the keeper hook. You got a built-in soft strap. Um, on the rear of most of motorsport vehicles, the suspension is a little bit more rigid and less responsive than the front, so this is what we recommend running on the rear. So now that you got your Can-Am Spider on the trailer, we're gonna go through a couple different tie-down methods. The way that I'm doing it isn't the best way. Um, I'm sure there's someone who has a better way or they don't like doing it this way, but you can go ahead and find your own method. This is the way that's been effective for us. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you a couple, two different ways for the front and two different ways for the rear. So press the red button, it's gonna give you some slack. We're gonna put the weight of the strap to the bottom with the keeper hook. So you're gonna go ahead, hook that in, pop it over. So now that can't fail. You're gonna pull it out. This is a mag wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread it through the rim to the far side and out to the front like this. Now you have the strap. You're gonna take the excess strap here, put it through the eyelet here. Pull it up like a bunny ear, pull the hook through that. There you go. Now you're gonna push the red button. It's gonna snug itself in. Push the red button, pull the black over, give it a few cranks so you're nice and snug. It's gonna ensure to pull the weight to the front of the trailer. So here's the second option. Here you got your soft strap. You're gonna route it through the mag wheel. Open this loop, pull the tag end through. It's gonna create a noose. When you install this strap and add tension, it's gonna choke itself to minimize any abrasion or movement. We're gonna go ahead and install the keeper hook on the front of the tie down point again. Pull it out. Now you're gonna take this tag end here. You're gonna go through the eyelet on the hook. Open it up, pull your hook through it, snug it, there you go. Red button, black. It's option two. So for the rear, we're gonna use these shock straps. The shock, this is all the way to the strap. It's always gonna go to the bottom or the rear. So you can see here, it has a soft strap built in. This is gonna keep the hardware away from the painted surface. Sewn in is a little hook, and that's what's gonna grab into here. So on the rear of the RT, it's a little different than the F3 or the Riker. You're gonna take this, you're gonna go around your mag wheel, hook it around the mag, open that up, put your hook through. You can take a look in there and see what it looks like. Then from there, we have the strap. This part here is what you're gonna pull on. The other spot also has a hook and a strap. So we're gonna come up here to this tie down point, which is the first one coming from the rear. You're gonna go ahead and hook that on. Take this part, take your hand, wrap it around, and you're gonna pull in line to keep your force most effective. Grab it, snug it. Now that you have some excess strap, you're just gonna pick up this tag end, bring it down, wrap it around, snug it up, and then just tie up your loose ends. As promised, here's the second option for the rear of your Spider RT. When you have a Riker or an F3, there's many more tie down points available. They're not as covered in the plastic and accessories, so you can use passenger, uh, passenger peg mounts, driver peg mounts, but for our T, here's the second method. We have the shock, the hook. We're gonna take that up here to the front. 
and hook that in the tie down hole. We're gonna come to the back here, give ourselves a bit more slack. We're gonna go around the hitch on this vehicle, open it up, put the hook in. Again, pulling in line with the strap. Step over. And again, you can just take your loose ends, route it through, and tie it around the strap. This is gonna allow it not to slip on you too. So there's a couple different options for the Can-Am Spider RT. And again, the Riker and the F3 are slightly different, but typically a little easier as there's more tie-down points available. If you guys want to see different tie-down videos, maybe for the XL112, the Twin Cruiser, or the Triple, subscribe as we're going to be dropping them more frequently, but leave a comment if there's something specific you want to use or something that you think is more effective. Help somebody out and leave a comment. Thanks.